life lessons with the balloons. People are empty like this balloon, all right? You can tie things up with it. You can snap people with it. No. No what? No, you don't want me to snap you. No. But uh, that's not what the balloon was made for. And that's why people are empty because we were made, we were made to please God. We were made to fellowship, to walk with God. But our sin separates us from God. You know, it says in Revelation 4.11 that we were created for His pleasure. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says, Without faith it is impossible to please God, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. All right? And so it's a great reward to seek God. But our sin separates us from him. So God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know, it's by the, the truth of the fact that we realize, man, I'm separated from my creator, my maker. That's what religion's all about. You know, religion, all the different religions in the world is people trying to get right with God. They're trying to have their sins forgiven. They're trying to be reconciled to God, to, to have that relationship restored because we're empty. No matter how rich we are, no matter how famous we are, no matter how much things we have, we're empty without God. But once we realize that I'm a sinner and I can't save myself, you can't save yourself. Any, I tell people, trying to blow one of these balloons up is like trying to save yourself. It's, it's impossible. Now, there are some people that can blow these balloons up without a pump, but there's no man that can save himself, all right? And we realize that Jesus is the only Savior. There's none that... Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Well, when we receive Christ as our Savior, when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, when we call upon the name of the Lord and trust Him for our salvation, He saves us and He fills us with His Spirit. Now, when this is what the balloon was made for, and that's what we were made for. We were made to have uh, a relationship with God, to walk with God. And, you know, you, can you untie that balloon? No. There, there might be a man on this earth that can untie that balloon. But, you know, God says He seals the Spirit of God in us until the day of redemption. Now, if God seals the Spirit of God in you, how in the world can you lose Jesus? How can you lose the Holy Ghost? You can't. And, and so, now God's working in your life. And sometimes God, it feels like He's twisting you. And, and, it, and it feels like He's bending you. And you're like, God, I don't like this. And He's pinching you. And He's twisting you. And you're like, God. And sometimes it's very hard. But God's making you what He wants you to be. All right, and so you know the the thing is, is we got to let God work in our life. Otherwise, we wind up a big mess. Now, people are different colors, different shapes, and all that, and that's not a problem with God. People have a problem with it, but God doesn't have a problem with it. You know, so we're all different colors, we're all different shapes, we're all different people all around the earth. Some are fat, some are skinny, some are tall, some are short. You know, it doesn't matter to God what you are. It doesn't matter what, 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 okay, different, different uh, nationalities. You got, you got Chinese, you got Japanese, you got Filipino, you got Mexican, you got Canadian, you got American, you got European, you got all kinds of different nationalities. And it's all right with God. He doesn't have a problem with that because God is the God of all nations. He's made, a, he's made us all of one blood. It doesn't matter if we're African. It doesn't matter if we're American Indian. We're all different, and, that, and that's okay with God. And that's important for us to remember, that God makes us all different, but we're all God's creature. We're all, and, and God wants us all to be full of His Spirit, and for us to be used to Him to show Him to others. And that's an important life lesson.